Can we mine Bitcoin on a Raspberry Pi? Do you want to learn about Bitcoin mining? Yes, mining Bitcoin on a Raspberry Pi is possible. Stay in this video and I'll show you how you can learn how to mine with a Raspberry Pi and, on top of that, you can earn a few dollars. His video is only to show you how Bitcoin mining with a Raspberry CPU works. Nowadays, it makes no sense to mine BTC this way because we would never even recover the electricity our hardware consumes. Today, it's impossible to compete with the large mining farms full of ASICs, application-specific integrated circuits, but in the early days of BTC, this is how people mined, using the everyday computer they had at home. In the original Bitcoin white paper, talks about the real application of CPU mining, also states that, if you have one CPU, you have one vote. Remember that you have to choose a mining pool. In this video I will use smartpoolmining.com because they accept low hash rate mining. We only have to point our miner to the port 3092 and the difficulty will be of 1, with variations of 0.5 to hit the optimal difficulty for our miner. This is what you will need, a Raspberry Pi, a micro SD card, active cooling devices for the CPU like heatsink or fan, a good power supply, Wi-Fi connection, and a Bitcoin wallet address. The active cooling for the CPU is very important. The Raspberry Pi will probably get hot, ensure that it has proper airflow on the CPU, there are some active cooling options on the market. First, let's prepare our hardware and install the OS that will support our mining software. We will use a software called, Raspberry Pi OS Imager. You can download it online. Follow the steps you see on your screen. We will do it together. Perfect, we now have the OS installed in our SD card. Insert the SD card to the Raspberry Pi. Connect the power supply to the Raspberry Pi. And wait approximately 3 minutes in order to complete the startup and connect to the Wi-Fi. Now we have to find the IP of the Raspberry Pi that is now connected to the local Wi-Fi. We will use the Advanced IP Scanner tool. But you can use the tool you want as long as it displays the IP of our Raspberry Pi. The software is free and you can find it online. Follow the steps you see on your screen. Now we have the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. You will have to connect a PC to the same network of Wi-Fi as the Raspberry Pi, then, follow the steps you see on your screen. Here begins the fun part. We will now install the software. I will leave the list of commands in the video description. First, you will have to place, side to side, the terminal and the list of commands. 
we will be running the commands one by one. This is possible with the simple, copy and paste option. We will do it together. Be patient, you are minutes away from mining Bitcoin. Congratulations, you have successfully installed the miner. Please remember to change the pool information and the wallet address to your own one. When we run the miner, we can see that we have the appropriate version. Also, the CPU specifications are correctly displayed. Every time you start your Raspberry Pi, you will need to run the command manually. First you have to go to the CPU miner opt directory and run the start command. With this command you can change your mining configuration and customize all the parameters needed to mine Bitcoin. Later on, we will see how we configure the auto start option to save time and optimize our mining. Here you can see the miner running is connected to the pool and we are mining on the Cortex ARM CPU. Also after a few moments, we have our first accepted share by the pool. And we are receiving new jobs given by the pool. After some minutes, the miner will display the hash rate history of our miner. This is very useful because we can monitor the mining directly from the software running on the Raspberry Pi. If you want to configure the auto start function we discussed previously, you have to run the commands you see on your screen. Now every time you power on the Raspberry Pi, it will start mining right away. Every pool gives the users a monitoring function. If you want to monitor the miner behavior, you can access to the pool and look for the dashboard option. You have to paste your wallet address and the pool will display your statistics. Here you can see the actual hash rate a complete hash rate history chart and your pending and paid BTC balance. Congratulations, you are mining BTC on your Raspberry Pi. If you leave your miner active for a few weeks you will learn more about the mining difficulties in real life. Also you can add more miners and play with the pool configuration. Thank you for watching, hope you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and donations are accepted.